Hello, everybody. This is Chris Brown here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, I'm going to talk to you about beginning exercises or the first steps to learning the trumpet. So this is my beginning exercises or trumpet lessons 101 beginning exercises. I have a PDF online on my website, which we'll pull up momentarily. And you can go there and download that particular PDF. And also, this video is for you to play along with me. So this is a great tutorial help for you if you're learning the trumpet and using my resources and need someone to kind of give you the tones and pitches you need to play. So here we go. Let's go to that particular resource. So go to Chris Brown, B-R-A-U-N, trumpet.com. And here, let me share that with you. So we'll go to Chris Brown, trumpet.com. Uh, the resources that you'll utilize right now will be found under my resources page. You can also go to my YouTube channel, a bunch of resources that are listed on there as well. So we'll go to the resources page here. Uh, you'll see a number of great resources here, lesson materials, trumpet music. I continually try to update this throughout the years. So if there's some new materials that someone requests, I'll put that on here as well. And also we have a trumpet method books here. This is one of our primary books, the Arbenz book, as well as the Clark Technical Studies. Those are free to download. They are um, public domain now, so you can utilize those. So let's go to the second resource, which is Trumpet Lessons 101 Beginning Exercises. All right, and this is my resource for you to help you learn the trumpet. So beginning exercises, gives us some beginning tones to play as well as some uh, one song at the end mary had a little lamb so i'll play through each of these sections a b c d and e and uh, you can play along with me so this first one says to play each note for four counts and then rest for four you'll see a whole note listed there and four quarter rests or if you add those up that's a whole rest the little marks are breath marks, those little marks above each line of breath marks. And the fingerings that you'll use on your trumpet are listed above each note. Now play these at a reasonable volume. Don't worry about playing too soft or too loud. Just blow out through your horn. Just breathe in on four. And you want to hold that breath out for those four beats. So you just don't want to let it all out and not have enough. So you want to breathe in like one, two, three. <sighs> going to blow out like that. That's what you're going to be doing when you play these. So pay attention to the fingerings at the top of the uh, lines here. These are your staff. This is your staff right here at the top. Um, those five lines that's your staff and the notes are, are the listed on there. And see a whole note is the very first note we have. So let me start my tune or metronome that is. So here's the metronome set to 60. You can also follow along with your clock if you don't have a metronome when you're doing this on your own. But here we go. So we'll start on letter A. These little dots at the ends of the music or the ends of these measures, these measures are divided. The music is divided into measures, which are the vertical lines tells you a measure in between the vertical lines. You see those little dots at the end, those two little dots? That means repeat it. So we're going to repeat these first two notes twice. So we'll play one note, rest for four counts, one rest for four, and then repeat that again. So let's do this. Letter A, two, ready, three. <laughs> rest, two, three, breathe. Rest, two, three, repeat, breathe. Rest, two, three, breathe. D, one and three, two, three, breathe. Rest, two, three, one, and three. I want to do a quick instruction for you. If you notice on this one here, it says 
extend your third slide. So this is a big thing that I do with all of my students. A lot of times they don't learn it very early on and it becomes a problem in the future. But for long tones like this, a long note, I want you to practice by extending this third slide right about a half inch. So you see there's about a half inch out. Extend it about a half inch out. So that's what you're going to do. Now, if it doesn't work, that's fine. Um, but right now, try to get it out a half inch. If you have short hands, you may use the fourth finger to do that. You can use the third if you have larger hands. And you can also put your little, little finger up here to help as well. All right, so let's do that D two more times, and then we'll go on to E. One, two, three, D. Rest, two, three, breathe. Rest, two, three, E. Rest, two, one and two, ready, breathe. Repeat it. Two, one and two, breathe. Rest, two, three, breathe. F, first valve, ready, breathe. Repeat it one more time. Two, three, first valve. G, open, ready, breathe. G again, ready, two, breathe. Now to play a little bit higher notes, it'll take you to really, really accelerate. Think about blowing the air really fast. So play these notes A and above and going even higher. <laughs> so make sure you keep the air moving quick. Don't make your embouchure here too big. <laughs> so when you play, just think about blowing through your lips. And when you go a little higher, it just needs to go a little quicker, theoretically, because the hole is smaller. All right, so let's do A. This is measure 17. Two, ready, A. Ready to repeat. Breathe. B, second valve. Ready, breathe. Ready, two, again. Ready, breathe. C, open, two. Ready, breathe. One, two, ready, breathe. D, first valve, ready, breathe. Two, three, breathe. Excellent. Now, if you weren't able to play all those notes, that's fine. Play them as much as you can. Play as many notes as you can. It's just important to repeat. Repetition is so very important. Your face is not used to this. This is weird, throwing a piece of metal, putting it on your face, and trying to blow through it. It's not a natural thing. So believe me. It's not natural for the people that play all the time sometimes. So we have to acclimate our bodies with that. So don't worry about being able to play all those notes. Just kind of spit them out. As you go higher, I kind of like to think about spitting the notes out. So let's go down now to section B. This is letter B here. And we are going to play what we call half notes. If you see these notes have a long line on them, a vertical line, that means there are two beats. The first section, A, were four beats. These are half notes, two beats. So we're going to play a note, rest, breathe, then play another note, two, rest, breathe. 
All right, so you rest for two, but technically you breathe on the second note or second beat of the rest. So don't think about resting. You want to play two beats and then rest, breathe, and then play two beats. All right, this section, this line is repeated. We're going to move the metronome up to 90 to get a little bit quicker. Mine actually is 88. I can't get it to 90 exactly. So let's play this section. And uh, we're starting on C. We're playing all the notes we just played, the first five notes, that is. C, open, D, one and three, E, one and two, F, one, G, open, F again, E, D, C. All right, now if you can't get that trigger to work on D, don't worry about it right now. Let's just try this letter B. Here we go. One, two, three, breathe. Uh, rest, 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 breathe. Uh, repeat, breathe. Uh, rest, 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 breathe. Uh, all right, great. So let's move on to C. So these exercises uh, kind of progressively get a little bit more difficult. We add things to them. Uh, we add notes. We add shorter value notes. We repeat notes, much like the school books do, but the school books go at a slower pace. So this goes at a quicker pace than the school books do. So I encourage you to play through this particular set of exercises. And then I also have additional exercises after this. And then it continues into more advanced studies after that, which include lead pipe, long tones, extended long tones or expanding, and lip slurs. So let's move to C now, letter C. So we're going to play each of these notes. These are called quarter notes. If you see here, they're black, totally filled in notes with a vertical line. It's quarter notes, one beat. It says four, four on the side. That simply means four quarter notes for these kind of notes per measure. That thing next to it, that squiggly thing that's called a staff, that just tells us that we're in G clef or treble clef. And the interesting thing about G clef is that little squiggly thing at the bottom of the, the lines, the bottom of those lines, the center of it is the G line. So you'll always know that that's a G for, and that's also called a G clef, treble clef. All right, so we're gonna play each of these notes four notes and then rest for four and then repeat them. Now, how are we gonna play them? Well, we're gonna use our tongue just like I'm doing right now when I talk. Simply think ta, 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 ta when you play these. Ta, 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 ta. All right, so properly articulate the notes I say here. You use the syllable ta. Um, practice singing it first like we just did. Uh, we're gonna go through each of these. As you get more comfortable, go all the way up as high as you can. So letter A, we went to D. You can continue going up to D. Repeat A, repeat B, repeat C, repeat D. Um, but right now we're gonna go up to G, all right? So here we go. Play four, rest four, repeat. Thinking ta, 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 ta. Ready? Two, three, three. Repeat it, two, three. Three. Two, three, D. Repeat D, one and three. Ready, three. E, one and two. Ready, three. One, two, three, repeat. F, two, first bell, breathe. One, two, three, repeat. Rest, two, open, G. One, two, 
three, repeat. Excellent. Like I said, you can keep going on up from there as you get more comfortable. Now let's go to D. So we're going to combine things from repeated notes to moving up scale your or scale wise motion. We're kind of moving up what we call a scale. All right. So we're going to go C, D, E, F, G. Hold it for four. And then G, F, E, D, C. Hold it for four and repeat. This is D, letter D. One, two, three, three. All right, and you see those little marks I told you were breath marks at the beginning are between the second and third measure and the last measure there. So you're going to breathe after you hold for four counts. One, two, three, four, breathe. All right. Now let's go to D1. So we have half notes here and we're going up and we're skipping measures. It's kind of like jumping over stairs. We're like skipping or steps, stepwise motion in D. D1 is skips or leaps. Intervals is what we call it. All right, so we're gonna go C, E, one and two, G is open, and then G, one and open, then E, one and two, and C. D, one, here we go. One, two, three, four. D2. D2 combines all of this and it comes down the scale and then it goes up the leaps or intervals. All right. It ends on A, which is one and two. We'll repeat this D2 as well. Here we go. Starting on G, open and really spit the air out on this first note because you'll, the tendency is you'll be a little too loosey goosey in your lips and you really need to <laughs> just blow that air out. Start on G. One, two, three, three. Excellent. Now we're going to play a song. That one sounded maybe a little bit like Twinkle Twinkle on the beginning. This one actually is a song. Now when we learn songs, it's so very important for you to remember or think about the words. That will help you focus on the music in your head. See, musicians need to make music through their instruments. The music is not the paper or the program you're looking at. It's what comes out of your instrument. So you need to start thinking about what you hear in your head, and then you translate it to the instrument. That's what makes musicians. That's what makes a successful musician. So this one starts on one and two. It goes E, D, C, D, E, 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 then D, 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 E, 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 D, C, D, E, 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 C, D, D, E, D, C. All right, so there is a quick breath between whose fleece was white as snow, and then we'll repeat the whole thing. So before you play it, sing it. Mer, so the first note. That was right. Mer, re, had, a, little lamb, breathe. Little lamb, little lamb, breathe. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. All right, so sing through it. Get it in your head. Get it under your fingers. Play, move your fingers around, and then let's play it. Here we go. We'll repeat it one time. Ready? One, two, three, breathe. Rest. 
great. Excellent. Thank you very much for your attention, and I hope this has been a help to you. Use this resource to help you learn to play beginning notes and beginning exercises on the trumpet. Once again, this is on my Chris Brown, B-R-A-U-N, trumpet.com website. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to me. Um, a lot of those exercises can be followed in the order I put them, but if you have questions as you develop, this is a pretty simple exercise and you will want to do more advanced things. I could, I'd love to help you instruct and give you some guidance on that. So have a wonderful day. Thank you for checking out this resource and I hope to talk with you or see you in the near future. Thank you very much.